preview the previews. I'm Karen Walker. I'm Jerry Davich. And we are here at the Portage IMAX Theater reviewing three-minute previews. You know, when you go to see a movie and you see those three-minute trailers and you're with your date and you go, I want to see it or I don't want to see it, that's exactly what we're doing. So we saw the full three-minute trailer for five-year engagement. And here's a quick look. It's sort of like when you're on a treadmill and you tell yourself, I'm going to run five miles today and now it's forever miles. When was the last time you were on a treadmill? Sorry. Siegel and Emily the, Blunt. He was in the Muppets. Yeah, yeah, really funny guy. Yeah, it was a funny escapist comedy. We enjoyed it a lot. Typical mm -hmm. romantic comedy. If you want to take your date somewhere, laugh a little bit, leave your regular ho hum life, see a movie, that's the movie to see. Light and fluffy. Light and fluffy. It was funny. It had a lot of comedic pratfalls, mm -hmm. some slapstick humor. We enjoyed it. Would you and see it? I'm sure it? it has a happy ending. It's got to have a happy ending. Yes or no? Yes. I Me will too. See it. We're going to see it. So the three minute preview for Battleship. Here's a quick snippet for you. Oh man, explosions, fireballs, a lot of CGI. Loud. It was just way too much for me to see. And plus it was, who was there again? Liam, Liam Neeson. Neeson. Good God, the guy's everywhere. And this has the uh, uh, starring Rihanna. Wow, it's her first starring role on a big budget movie. And it's just a big budget movie. It's a lot of too much stuff for us. Way, way too much. But they do bomb Hong Kong and not New York City. So that is yeah, a Yeah, that's big a difference. nice change of pace anyway. It's yeah. aliens. That's what I'm saying. Aliens bomb Hong Kong. It's crazy. Oh, I'm not going to see it. No way. It's a joke. Mm -mm. Next up, we saw Cabin in the Woods, the three minute trailer. Here's a quick look. Yee. No friggin' way I will ever see this <laughs> movie no way, in my no lifetime or any other. It was like scary, but not really just bad scary. It was like Blair Witch Project on crack or no, something. No, it's Reality horrible. TV meets old school it's horror horrible. movies. It's just a bunch of scantily, cl scantily clad <laughs> teens <laughs> screaming, were. and they're dirty, and they're running everywhere, and, and they're there's getting no off way one at a time, I, think. I will never see this movie, <laughs> I'd ever. I'd like to see it with her. No. Yes, what do you say, no? no. I say yes only with her, It's though. a big N-O. <laughs> We watched a three minute trailer for The Dictator. And here's a quick look. Think quick. Ah, America, the birthplace of AIDS. Ah, well, Sasha Baron Cohen is at his best here again, starring as The Dictator. Looks pretty funny, probably like a little bit like Borat stuff here. It looks childish and sophomore, but I laughed. And, yeah, you, know, you did. You kind of guilty laugh. Like, you don't want to laugh, but you laugh. It's like cringing laugh. Like, oh, it that's is. awkward. But I saw an Obama clip in there, and Ben Kingsley's in there. Oh, little, he is. A little bit of street cred for that, for Ben Kingsley. Yeah, we gotta like that. He's funny, even if you don't like, not Ben Kingsley, the other guy's funny. What's his Sasha name? Baron Cohen. Sasha Baron Cohen is funny, but you don't want to laugh at him, but he's still funny. Yeah. So would you see the movie? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't pay for the movie. That's the thing. We wouldn't pay for the movie. No, right. it's not worth my money. No, not for the. Next up is a three-minute preview for Men in Black Three. Here's a fast sneak peek for you. You jump. You want me to jump? Time jump. That looks good, doesn't it? No, not so much. Mm. I never saw a Men in Black 1 or Men in Black 2 as opposed to somebody who's seen it how many times? I've seen Men in Black 1 so many times I can almost recite the whole movie. Oh, that's pathetic. But this movie had a lot of CGI again, a lot of explosions, alien invasion. Oh, yeah. And Tommy Lee Jones, who's older than Dirk, as we all know. I do like Will Smith a lot. So, uh, they make a very good comedy team, I think. And it's Men in Black 3. How could good a sequel to a sequel to a sequel be kind of thing, right? Doesn't it dilute? No, I don't think so. I think it's got a good story. I don't know. So you'd see it or yes or no? I'm going to see it. I'm not going to see it until it comes out on DVD and I get it for free. That was a three-minute preview for what to expect when you're expecting. Here it comes. Pregnancy sucks. Making a human being is really hard. I have no control over my body or my emotions. Scare Bear, I'm sorry. All I want to do is punch you in the face. Really? Oh. This looks funny. It does look funny. We like it. Yeah, this kind of takes the story of um, newborn parents, but from the dad's perspective. It's got Chris Rock in it, J-Lo, Cameron Diaz. It, it's got a really funny story. I, I could tell it's going to be one of those funny, funny, real-life comedy movies. And a tagline is, uh, when, what to expect, it's going to be a real mother kind of thing. I like that, too. And Chris Rock, anything with Chris Rock, he touches it, I watch it. Simple as that. Yeah. So we like the movie a lot. It's just like fun. It does. And kind of a little change of pace and things. They mm -hmm. flip-flop the yeah. roles, the character roles. So right. yes or no, see it? I'm going to see it. I'll be right next year when we see it. Yay. 
Thanks for joining us on Review the Previews. And thanks to Porter Jimax for having us here. See you next time. You really go see Men in Black 3? You kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. You I can recite see it. the first one? Yeah. That's horrible. It's not horrible. Why would you care about the third one at all? Well, because I saw the first one. But it's all contrived. How would you know? You it's didn't a sequel see the movie. to a sequel to a sequel. You didn't even see the movie. Why'd you give it a chance? If it's Godfather, I'd give it a chance. Oh, gee, if it was like, what was that, True Blood?